Good day, chaps, and welcome to my 1,000 subscriber special. Now, I wanted to do something a little different for you today. Um, I want to show you me playing the game as at the same time as me actually playing the game. Um, I also want to say, firstly, a massive thank you to all of you um, for subscribing. I really appreciate it. Um, this also happens to be, coincidentally, my 100th video, so we've hit a couple of milestones uh, over the, the last week. And with that in mind, I want to make a couple of announcements. Firstly, the channel is going to be changing um, in a very good way. So I have actually gone out and found a designer. Um, I've also decided that I'm going to disassociate this channel from my personal Google account. So what that means is the name of the channel is going to be changing. It's going to become more like, you know, more like a professional YouTube channel. Uh, the ones that you see will have a, a separate name. I'm going to have it, it's going to have its own identity developed and it's going to start to look like a much more professional channel. The other thing is that I'm going to be releasing content regularly. So um, if you're watching my series at the moment, you'll know that um, Elite Dangerous, I've already started that series. I'm going to be releasing that every Friday. It's a 10 part series. The last part is going to be a very, very long one. It's an hour long because uh, I got into some dog fighting. I'm, it may be a good idea to split that into three parts. Um, who wants to watch an hour of gameplay anyway? Um, the other thing is I've started a, a new series. I started recording that today. So I'll be releasing that midway through the week. So we're going to have Power Play, a Let's Play coming on Friday. We're going to have another Let's Play coming, let's say, probably Tuesday-ish. And I'm going to be doing a proper Power Play guide because it is very complicated and there are some things that uh, very few people know about but in the meantime I'm gonna do this special and I'm gonna oh, yeah they were in business I'm gonna I want to show you what it's like to play Elite Dangerous on three screens with a HOTAS joystick um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about this joystick at the same time, as well as the buttons I use. So, it's a little difficult because I'm doing a lot of recording at the same time, and the voice. So I'm going to try to get it right. Um, I'll just show you what we're doing. Firstly, uh, uh, let's just get this mission ready. So I am I'm doing a power play mission. Just get that mouse out of the way. So we're doing an expansion mission, we have, we now have 96 cargo, 96 tons of liberal propaganda. As you can see here, 96 tons. We're playing an open play, of course. And we are delivering that to... Had to choose our expansion. And I chose this one, Zeta Trianguli Australialis. Um, this one's worth the most, I think. Yeah, it's worth 167cc per week, so that's the most worthwhile. So it's, it's a bit of a way to get there. Um, I'm going to need to do this again. It always chooses economical routes, which is the worst. So this is where we want to go. Let's just um, let's choose a system within here. And I'm hoping that you know by doing this I'll show you what it's like to uh, play with three screens like this. And I'm hoping we don't get interdicted on the way, but part of me is also hoping that we do, because then you get to see what a bit of a dogfight looks like with three screens. Um, and the head tracker, of course. Um first thing to say is that it's extremely enjoyable. Um, I bought this joystick and the head tracker and the third screen specifically for the Elite Dangerous Beta and I've not regretted it at all. 
cost a little bit of money, but um, I actually went for the budget options. So this joystick, it's called the Thrustmaster, and I think it will cost you about forty pounds, including postage. Um, I would highly recommend it. It is plastic, so it's not necessarily it's not necessarily got the best feel to it. Um, you know, it would one of the metal or more expensive ones would feel better, but um, it's certainly very nice to play with. I've got my I'll show you this one's set to my boost, so oh, that's my boost. I have, of course, fire this side here. I'm not going to show you that. There are two buttons on this side. I'm not going to move the camera, so I'm not going to show you, but one of these changes my um, group. And then, of course, I've got fire set here. So I can change which group I've got. And here, for example. Oh, interesting. I seem to have messed up my uh, groupings here, so I'm going to change the fire groups. Oh, I've moved my weapons around, you see. Just give me a second. That's better. So I've got my group set up first. First I use my uh, lasers to take down the shields, and then I'll switch to the four multi-cannons I have, and then if necessary I'll switch to all multi-cannons, all lasers at once, if necessary. Um, I've also got the secondary launcher, so the secondary action button, that's set on the other side here. This one here is retract hard points. This one is retract landing gear, or put out landing gear. These are for the pips. So as you can see there, different pips. This one's engines, this one's weapons. And that, this one's reset all. It's back to the middle. When I'm flying, I keep mine on four engine two system. At the back here, there's, there are two paddles. The one on the left I use for targets. So that just scrolls through different targets. It means that I don't need to go to the keyboard. If you want to target something, and the one on the right is frame shift drive charging. Frame shift drive charging. On the right here, I don't know if you can see this. We've got this, and this is incredibly useful because this is vertical and lateral thrust. Um, Four. Very handy for docking Two. or in fights. Um, of course, you also have yaw, so you can turn the joystick left and right. Incredibly useful. Um, and once you've got used to it, you can't imagine having it any other way, really. Um, now I'm hoping this mission is very simple. I just want to show you what it's like. Hopefully we get some... Oh, look at that. Show off a little bit of the uh, beauty. Frame Playing with three screens and Elite Dangerous. What else do we have? This one in the middle here. I know that's supposed to be you know, like missile launch or whatever. I've actually used that for assist off. Um, I play with assist on. I don't really want to get into being the most professional guy in the world at playing Elite Dangerous. I want to just enjoy it. But I use Elite Dangerous toggled so that if I'm in a, a dogfight and I'm in trouble, I switch assist off, off. Yeah. I switch the assistant off, Fuel scooping. and I use that to um, escape. So I put I put the ship into a kind of it was an asp here. Put the ship into a uncontrolled spin, Fuel scoop disengaged. which tends to be better at uh, evading enemies. Frame shift drive charging. Uh, there is another button here. You can't see it, but it's on this side of the stick. Um, I just use that for targeting whatever's in front of me, So, because I can scroll with this on the left, and then if I want to target what's in front of me, it's here. And it basically means that you've got everything you need to fly to hand. So you don't need to ever 
really go to the keyboard at all unless you want to go to the menu system but even that I can't do it right now but even the menu system as you can see I mean you still need to go to the keyboard if you want to choose something but um, you can access the menus just like this and the comms like that so you never need to detract from the actual flying which I love, it's, it's fantastic but yeah back to the uh, channel we're going to be doing things a little bit better from now on uh, like I said more regular updates the big thing is there's going to be an identity change so that's going to look and feel quite different um, I've gone for something a little bit fun it's a little bit stupid um, You'll know already that I just make these games for fun. I enjoy making these videos for you guys. I love the feedback. That's why I'm doing it. I'm not here to really make money. It doesn't really concern me. So, you know, in tune with the whole having fun thing. Here's our target. Ooh, federal ships behind us. Um, I've just gone for something silly. Um... I want to see if you guys pick up on the theme, the name I've chosen and the identity because it, it fits in with this whole idea of an alter ego. Um, the alter ego being, you know, in your real life, kind of a normal person, whatever, you dress, okay. And you get home, you enter your man cave like this and then the alter geek ego comes out that comes to the fore and it's that geeky alter ego that that is the one speaking to you on this YouTube channel that's that's kind of the idea guest city that's interesting um, I've also upgraded my uh, recording software so we're not using fraps anymore at the moment we're using something called action which after reading some reviews was the this is when your becomes really important because I can twist like that you see turn and twist at the same time and change targets and if necessary interdict all at the same time they're on my side I was thinking of showing you a little bit of uh, dog fighting but um, I don't know maybe I can make a, a separate video of that if you really want to see it for the moment I thought this would be this would be good enough and I also want to be able to wanted to be able to talk to you guys when I'm dogfighting I'll be pretty distracted so I just wanted to make this special into a bit more of a talky vid hopefully with some good uh, shots as well some kind of moon look around our ship yeah, there isn't really too much to see on this one landing docking should be nice But yeah, the main thing is um, just a huge thank you, really. You know, you guys are the whole reason I make videos. Um, I'm netting like 20 bucks a month <laughs> from doing this, so. It's certainly not about the cash. Although, you know, I do have the videos monetized. Be kind of foolish not to, really. Gaming ain't cheap. So you see I'm tapping that here and then go to the keyboard and that's where I contact. Docking request granted. Uh, this is where the head tracker becomes really useful. I've got to slow down. May have overcooked it. But I can... No, it's okay. And stay focused on the uh, letterbox. This can actually make you feel kind of queasy. Because it's um, it's so immersive. Once you get to this level, and you've got to remember I've got um, earphones on as well and my headset, so you know it's quite loud, very, very immersive indeed. And coming through letterboxes like this is just, just spectacular. Look at that! And um, hopefully you've turned it up and you can hear this as well. Being able to look around the station like this. So you see, I just deployed. And now I'm using this. Landing gear deployed. Oh, steady, steady, steady. Using this to steady the boat. 
It's when I need um, lateral vertical thrust. So I'm, I'm moving forward with the uh, left hand and then with my thumb, my right hand, bringing her down and then pop. Locking successful. Engine and then disengaged. this is where I usually turn off the uh, head tracker so that I can concentrate on the menu. I won't do it at the moment just because this is still kind of cool. Um, let's deliver our cargo and then I'll call that a day. Um, yep, so power play guide coming soon, a proper guide. Let's deliver our 96 and see how many merits we've got. 787 merits! I'm now into... I think that puts me into rank 3. Let's have a look. That would be nice. So... There we go. Rating. Merits earned. Carried over from last week, 692. And this week, 95 that we just got there. Total, eight, 787. So we are now officially ranked 3. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So we're going to get half a million, five preparation nominations, and then we'll get 20 power commodity every half hour, as well as the pulse disruptor once we've been aligned for four weeks. It's quite a way away yet. Um, interesting. I wonder if it's worth going for rating four. I'm not going to play that much. This other Let's Play that I'm doing, spending a bit more time on that, I don't I can't just grind at one game either. I know some people do. I just can't do it. I can't. I'm not a grinder. I ain't got a grinder. Um, something I have really enjoyed recently is getting into uh, bounty. Um, basically, getting involved in civil wars. I've just I've discovered that's a great way to earn cash. Pretty quick. Um, as well as grinding your way up to um, a better better fight ranking. Okay, I'm going to stop um, dribbling on. I'm going to leave you here. I just want to say a massive thank you again to all of you. I really appreciate uh, the fact that you've enjoyed my videos enough to subscribe. Just doing it shows that you're supported me in my endeavors and it shows you're enjoying this this content and it's just the fact that you enjoy this content that keeps me um, making it so all the best guys and I will see you in the next one take care